Hey! For those who don't know me, my name is Eva. I'm from Barcelona, Spain. And today I'm with my friend Nieves. She's from Almería, Spain. So thank you so much for being part of this video. I know that you guys want to practice your English. So this is going to be an amazing video and super interesting. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one. So American people are obese. Is that true or not? What do you think? Yes. I mean, I suppose it depends on where you are in America. Mm -hmm. Also, it depends on the money situation. Exactly. So it's like cheaper to eat like fast food and unhealthy food than eating healthily. A lot of people do not have the resources to eat healthy because it's too expensive. So they just decide to go to fast food restaurants. Uh -huh. To be honest, I have not seen that many people that are obese. Exactly. Like, They've told me that if you go to like California or the West Coast, you know, you can see the difference. Another one is that American people do not know geography. This is a really common one and I think it's pretty true. Yeah, it is. Of course, not all people do not know geography. But like many are just, they just know, you know, the states in America. I'm just saying this because I've had experiences with people. I have asked them to tell me where their state is and they don't even know. It is true that we live near the city. A lot of people are more informed. So when I asked people, they usually know where France is, Italy, Spain, yeah. Kind of. Mm. Most people think it's like impossible to eat healthy in America. I mean, also it depends on whether you want to eat healthy or you don't, but there's always options, like healthy options. Mm -hmm. It's just probably easier for us to go for the unhealthy options just because they are the ones we know and like the good ones in some way. Yeah. But there's obviously people who eat healthy and you can eat healthy. Of course, like if you choose to eat healthy, then you may have to cook. Mm -hmm. And that's something people don't, don't want to know. do on, or don't mostly have the people, time to exactly, do. Exactly, mostly people of our age. Yeah, exactly. Like, if you're in college, then it's going to be harder for you to cook or something. To cook, but also like for us, we have a meal plan, so you exactly. can choose what you eat. Uh -huh. And most people, they just go for pizza or burgers or fries because they know that food. Mm -hmm. And they don't even give a chance to like healthy food. Mm -hmm. But like, for example, for me, I love going to like the salads part. It's probably more expensive if you want to eat healthy though. Teenagers drive. In most countries in Europe, we are allowed to drive when we are 18. Right now, we have friends that can drive because we are 19. Uh -huh. But in the US, when you are 16, you can drive. So that was really amazing because you have that freedom and you can do whatever you want. Yeah, you have more independence. Yeah. Also, most people of our age, before they go to school, they get a car. Because mm -hmm. in the US, distances are very long. So to move from one place to another, you need the car. And there's not a lot of public transport. Mm -hmm. That's not... Like, uh, unless you're in oh, a city true. or something, there's no public transport. True, yeah. And the thing is, they are allowed to get it when they're 16. Whereas for for us, we have to be 18. So not most people get it because when you, like, when you turn 18, you start school and you have no time. But for them, they get it during high school. So, like, it's easier for them to get their, the license. And I it's think. really hard here in Spain. Yeah. And it's super expensive. And it takes a lot of time. Not as, That's, that really sucks. Yeah, like, it does. A lot of money. I'm uh -huh. talking like a lot of money. Public transportation, like it's super common in Spain. It's true that depending on where you live, if you live in like a tiny town, then of course you're not going to get that much public transportation. But like but Madrid, Barcelona. Yeah, like that's super convenient and it's amazing. So really easy to move around the city. That's why we don't need cars. Like they all live in the suburbs in like beautiful places. You can explain this more. I think that people when they think about the US they think about the beautiful houses the typical American family mm -hmm. but that's not true like unfortunately there are people that are living on the streets which is really sad or living in like different conditions that are not that good so it's not true that they all live in the suburbs but it is true that um, I've had the experience of living in that type of environment and it's really beautiful, but it's not always like that. Okay, this one's pretty funny. If you speak Spanish, people think that you are from Mexico. Yeah, they automatically just think you like, you know, spicy food, 
You like tacos. All those yeah. stereotypes about Mexican people, they, they think you have them. Mm -hmm. In Spain, we don't usually eat tacos no. or like nachos unless you go to that's a Mexican restaurant. That's not our restaurant. thing. Exactly. That's not our thing. So that's that's also what we were talking about geography. They don't know where Spain is. So if you speak Spanish, you're Mexican, you know? Mm -hmm. That's how it works for them. So it's really annoying because they are just talking about things and you're like... Mm -hmm. It's just not like that, it's you not, know? Yeah. A lot of people speak Spanish. I think they just associate it with Mexico because it's... It's like, closer. Yeah. But a lot of people think that we are Latino because mm. we speak Spanish. So it's like... We're oh, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Latino. So we are more European, we are Hispanic. European, we are European. And everything is like a movie. For me, it is. Like every mm -hmm. time I'm like in school, I feel like I'm living like a dream. Everything about it seems like a movie. And whenever I go to like a place or, you know, to a, like a diner or a restaurant or whatever, everything seems like a movie. So for me, it is like a movie. I suppose it depends on the experience you get, mm -hmm. where you go, yeah. the people you meet, what you do. But for me, it is like a movie. Romanticizing your experience, because just, I'm sure yeah. we are just used to this life, you know, Spain, mm. but Spain is so beautiful. Uh -huh. We have good food, good places. Good people. So that's amazing. Mm -hmm. But I agree with you. It's like something different you have only seen in movies or maybe YouTube. It's true that in a way, movies portray what reality is, but they exaggerate Obviously. that reality. Yeah. But still, but still, it feels like a movie, movie to us. People think that the school dances are like in the movies. So I've been able to go to a few school dances. I haven't. She hasn't because she's in college, college. and I've been there in high school. Uh -huh. To be honest, it's not exactly the same. At least for me, slow dances were not a thing in my <laughs> high school, which was really sad. I don't know, it was just more informal. The decoration was not that big as in movies. It was a beautiful experience. Just the decorations and the music was a little different. bit different. Graduation for them is a big thing. Oh, I mean, it is a big thing for us as well. But for them, there's like prom and graduation, so mm -hmm. they have both, so they make everything so big okay this was funny because in my high school i don't know if yours was like this if we wanted a cup we had to make it with paper that's mm -mm. college decisions they're oh, super that's important. So important in spain it's not that important no, to be honest because you get it during the summer yeah and you are not waiting for that moment to no you're like, not oh, am i going to get accepted and you probably apply to a few colleges so a lot of spaniards have the idea of people in the u.s not being stylish they go to the store in pajamas, flip-flops. They do not care about their appearance that much. I feel that they only dress up for like special occasions. Uh -huh. So like if they go partying, they dress up during the day in school. They they just they don't care. Like in Spain, like my friends when they go to school, they dress up and they think about their outfits With so jeans. much. They just do their hair and everything. Whereas mm -hmm. people in the US, they don't. Like if you do it fine, like they don't yeah. care. I think right now a lot of people are getting stylish, or that's what I see on Instagram because all the outfits and stuff yeah, like but that. They but only do that for pictures. Yeah. I mean <laughs> they put the could outfit be, and then they take be. it off. It's based on our experience. experience. That's yeah. it. But here in Spain we are not used to seeing Birkenstock sandals with socks. Uh-huh. You know, that's weird for us. And and if we see it, we are like they are probably not Spaniard. They judge you. No, they don't. Like, people in Spain judge you. Like, if you're wearing yes. something different, not oh weird, but something different, you they could would be, be staring crocs. at you. Yeah, and they would just be staring at you. Whereas in the US, if you go out with like your pajamas, no one's gonna look at you. Maybe they just look at you, but same as if you were wearing something else. It's mm -hmm. not that they're looking at you because you're wearing your pajamas. In Spain, I remember wearing Crocs and people looking at me. And I was so uncomfortable, like, they're just crocs, you know, that's not a big deal. Don't. I think in Spain you feel so judged that you end up just dressing like everyone else. So that was it for today. Thank you, Nieves, for being part of this video. Of Remember to like this video, subscribe, comment something nice, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.